I'm Sarah Bendrick and I'm getting married. I'm also a licensed landscape contractor, so of course I needed to figure out how to build my own pergola, but I didn't want to do it alone. So I had Caitlin join in to be able to create this simple and beautiful pergola. I'm pretty anti-cookie cutter, so I wanted to find a venue that really allowed us to express our personalities. In fact, my fiance used to grow up running throughout these hills, which is super cool. It's a huge property and there's a lot of trees that were on their way out that we were able to fell and reuse for our pergola. And that's where Caitlin came in. We used her to help us fell the trees that we needed for this pergola and then I put together a design to figure out how to notch it together. We were able to find a lot of timbers that were similar in diameter, about eight inches. And so we picked all of those ones out and then we cut them to about eight and a half feet tall. And then from the top of it, we notched it down seven inches and then we also cut it in half to create a notch. So basically the top of the pole was split and removed. And then we were able to put these pieces together and we lock them in with timber ties and that's what really holds them together in this structure. So not only are we relying on the screws, but also the weight of the wood is notched in so that helps distribute it. Cross beam I'd like to have, I'd like to see the cross beam here sort of rotated. The way we designed it was to have the front part have a cross beam that was double notched and then the posts were just notched on the top. After we got that first one up, we then built the second one. Okay, so I think if we get the top and then we'll walk it down. We needed a lot of hands to hold this in place. After we elevated both, we were able to put on the supports on either side and lock those in. Designing this in a square makes it a lot more stable than if we just did the top or if we made it really narrow. Caitlin and I had this idea to add these little decorative elbows to either side. That does help stabilize, but honestly, they're more for aesthetics. There were some fallen oak trees on the property, so we were able to harvest those sustainably and then add them to our arbor. And the best part about this is we're planning on leaving this arbor for future weddings as well. I think it's so special that we found a venue that my fiance actually had personal ties to and us getting married makes it more of our space now that we can share together. And in planning this whole wedding, we've been able to come up here and spend some time, pick out where we wanna get married. There's obviously gorgeous views everywhere. It's super exciting to build something so special and be able to personalize it. So I'm really happy that I was able to work with this team to create this beautiful pergola. And I can't wait to share it with my friends and family.